Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, we will talk about keyframe rendering in Enscape for the SketchUp. Most of the time, you need to show the process of design or layout in your project. So keyframe rendering is one of the most useful ways for creating these type of things and processes. So I will start my job with this simple decoration which placed in my project's hallways. So right now if I press F on my keyboard, you can see that I think it's on the uh I think it's camera number 19, yes. And you can see the details of it very simple and easy. So how we can do this job process step by step. So it's really simple and I will talk about it. First of all, I need to minimize the Enscape at the right side and sketch up in the left side. So I will click on my camera 19 in the SketchUp environment, right click and click on the add option. Some type of camera shot scene number 29 will be generated for you and you can rename it to the uh, next one and press enter. So next one is our camera shot and camera 19 is our camera shot again. Both of them are completely same without any differences. But when I click on these candles in here, for example, you can see that these items selected for me and I can right click and click on the hide option. So in my render and Enscape environment, this hiding activated and right now we only have this woody decoration. So I will right click on the camera 19 and click on the update. So when I click on the uh, camera number next one, these objects will be generated for me. So right now we got it how we can use this option in our rendering. So I can click on the camera 19 again. Right click and click on the add option. This time I will rename it to the uh, next two, for example. So in next two, you can see what really happened. For example, my mirrors will be hide for me like that. And I will right click on it and update it. So when I click on the camera 90, this is my mirrors. Next two is that and next one is that. Don't worry about the... Uh, respectivity of them it's not really important and another time I will right click on the next one and click on the add again this time I will rename it to the uh, next three these things are only names not really matter for us so in next three I will select all of these items in my job right click and click on the hide option and click on the next and update it. So in the next three, we have this place. Next one is that, next two is that, and camera 19 is this. So we create some process of design and it's really helpful for us. And now we can start our rendering. First of all, I can come back to the uh, Enscape environment, press F and edit this number in here some position is really important so I prefer to use night sky brightness something like that for example maybe negative 80 is enough and 142 is enough for here I will click on the save option these items save for me next one Next two, next three, and we have camera 19 in here. You can manage it in SketchUp much better. So I only need to click on the visual setting, hold it on the medium quality, for example, and or I can adjust it on the high mode. So I can increase the outline a little bit to the 6%. And now I want to organize my cameras. So time for the organizing. Next three is empty. So this is my first keyframe. I will right click on it, rename it again, called F1 and press enter. In next one, we have all objects. So this one is the last one. So I don't touch it. 
next to is only this object in here so next to is my f2 in here frame number two camera 19 have mirrors so i will rename it to the f3 and press enter and if i come here next one have all of them so i will rename it again and called f4 and press enter so as you can see everything is done for us i can move it to the left side in sketchup environment f2 in the left side and now we have some organization in our cameras so i will come back to the endscape press f and now i have f1 f2 f3 and f4 so i will sum my job with the f1 in here click on the uh, edit mode i need some night light so something about 12 am is really perfect negative 90 is enough you can adjust the azimuth negative 90 and press save f2 is here it's in the daylight so i will change it to the 180 for example negative 90 and press save again i need to relight all of these areas I will click on the F3, so it's on the night mode, and everything about it is correct, so we don't need to change it. And F4, I think it's related to the daylight, yes. And I will change it to the 0 and negative 90 and press save. So only we need some a little bit creativity in our rendering. So for this reason, I'm going to click on this place, click on my paint bucket. I have some material from the past time which name is white so white in here I can adjust it on my faces in my 3d project one white in here and another one in here it's the uh, hidden lights and it's really helpful for our job so I will close it f1 selected for me so everything is good and now I want to render all of them at the same period of time but I don't know how. For these type of results you only need to click on the uh, batch render in here and when you click on the batch render all the camera shots will be detected for you. So I will come to the downside F1, F2, F3 and F4 selected for me. I will click on the uh, render images. And now I need to select a folder for myself. I will click on the desktop, click on the uh, new option, and I will call this folder keyframe renders. Now I need to select it, and rendering will be a start for us. So these type of renderings helps you to present your projects much better than the other times. At the final, you can create some super realistic animations in Enscape very simple and easy. And it can be really helpful for you. So it takes a little bit of time. And after that, Enscape will render all four render shots for you. And I think it's really great. So, as you can see, all renders completely done for us, and now it's the uh, last render. It takes a little bit of time, and after that, we can see the final result in our job. So, I will minimize it, keyframe renders in here, and now I'm going to start with this first render. As you can see, I can preview it on my photo viewer on my windows. So, this is the first shot, second shot third shot and fourth shot so we create these type of keyframes very simple and easy only in a few seconds with Enscape for SketchUp if this tutorial is useful for you please like and subscribe our youtube channel thanks for your time and thanks for watching please subscribe us and goodbye